Hey, it's Ian here from Dan Beaver Trap and Supplies. I'm going to do a quick little video for you on how to remove the caster from a beaver. It's just a short little video, quick, step-by-step -step how I do it. Let's go to a skidding shed and I'll show you how it's done. So as you can see, when you start skidding the beaver, the uh, glands are located just above the bum hole. You can feel it right in here, two harder glands. These two right here are the oil sac glands. You can remove those also. They make good water repellent for your boots. Maybe a little stinky, but they do work good. So what we're going to do is take these two glands out here right away and show you how. The first step is to pick up this muscle right here above the glands and just cut it back. Careful not to nick the glands or the caster. Now you can see the two glands right here. So sometimes you could just go and cut a little more of the tissue away, this muscle, meat, whatever you want to call it. And then reach in, get your fingers in there, and just pull that caster gland out of there. To give you a little bit of trouble just get your fingers in there this takes all that skin off the gland and makes it look nice this isn't a very big beaver so the glands aren't the caster glands aren't that big but they're full very hard so there you have it two nice glands now take your knife, cut from the back to the front, just above the bum hole. And you have a nice set of glands. Once the gland is removed, what I like to do is just give it a few twists. And then I hang it up on a cable. I have a cable across the skinning shit here. And I'll hang it that way, or a piece of string will work, or a bar, whatever. But every few days, you'll want to turn them, because if they're touching each other, they're not going to dry in between there. So uh, keep turning it, and then after a couple weeks, you could throw it in the freezer. It should be nice and ready for auction. Now, after a few weeks of drying, they'll look like this. They'll shrink down a bit. There's very little moisture coming out of it. That's the way the auction likes it. These are nice and clean. There's no skin left on it. And these would grade a number one caster. So once you've had all your caster dried for a while and you threw it in the freezer because you can't let it hang that long, uh, before the auction starts and before you ship it away, take your caster out, let it uh, dry a little more because you're going to have that freezer frost on it. And these are all nice, ready to go. Uh, box them up in a cardboard box or uh or onion sack and uh just leave them for for the auction